here. Uh, so which is the inlet in this? For each of the down one or top? The inlet is always down one. So this is the inlet. And you see the butterfly, uh, the butterfly and again IV. From that for, uh, for maintenance purpose, anything happened to this, we are not going to close the entire system. We will close only this valve. And again the pipe. Uh, here you will find uh, the pressure gauge. Hmm. Uh, here uh, temperature indicator, it is pending. Next after the stainer, you can see the stainer here. And after the stainer, the water will supply uh, via this elbow uh, to the connector to the AHU. Fine. And in the inside the AHU, you know, we have evaporated coil, which, which uh, evaporator uh, coils, not the shell and tube, uh, coil type evaporator. We have a fins and all. And water go in, chill water in, and uh, you know that the air will take uh, the cooling effect and water out as it comes, hot water. So you can see here, chill water out. And here, uh, the yeah, chill okay. water in. It is written also uh, with the manufacturer. And presently, it's uh, I think it's the inlet of water and outlet. And again, the outlet fitting you see, the pressure gauge is yet to connect here. And the, after that, uh, this flange, you can see the flange, the connection. Okay. And flange, you know that about two and a half inch diameter, we can use the flange. And after that, two way uh, mixing valve. Yeah, it's a uh -huh, two way, two way mixing valve. So why we are using two way? Two way when you use means that is a variable flow. You have all learned that one. If three way is there. We have a wow. bypass, mm, three. Uh, so three way is for separate line. So two way means that is for variable flow. So automatically it will increase. Here you will find one uh, control actuator, controlling device, and that will control as per the sensor or as per the thermostat of AHU. And it, when it is uh, attained the required temperature, it will set to minimum. And when it is set to minimum, back this line will send the back pressure. So whenever send the, uh, this line sends the back pressure, the motor speed automatically control because in the plant room just now we have seen VMD. The secondary pump is variable frequency drive. Fine. So that is the importance of two-way. So whenever you get the two-way valve means you think that it's a variable flow system. Fine. Three-way means constant. In case of three-way, you can see for hot water, this AHU come with the cooling coil as well as uh, heating. So it's a four pipe AHU. Four pipe means two supply, two return. So now we will trace this. So this is an inlet. This is some things are connected here. Uh, fittings. So inlet to the AHU, hot water and cold water in or hot water out. In terms we are calling chill water now. So practically it's a cold water out, hot water in. And there chill water in, hot, uh, cold water out. So you see this, in this we are using a three-way valve. So whenever three-way valve is bypass line is must. So when the water uh, is, so uh, it will not go to the main line, it will again bypass to this. This valve will restrict here. Because this heating is not used. Fine. So the same hot water will bypass to this, circulation within this. If the cooling is attained, the same circulation. If the, sorry, if the heating is attained. If the heating is not attained, again this valve is closed, the water will go directly. And again the hot water will come. So three way valve means there is a constant flow. The motor or the pump uh, is a constant flow pump. So, so flow is constant. As per the requirement, it will flow. Remaining is bypass. In two way, as per the requirement, the flow also vary. vary. So there is no bypass line. So this is important thing about this valve. And you can see the AHU is complete thing. So now uh, comes to that uh, air site. Hmm. So which is suction and which is uh, supply for this AHU for air site? That is must to identify as engineer. So which is suction and which is uh, outlet? So you can see the direction. Fine. Fine. From top it is written and passes through the cooling coils inside. Uh, I think you can can you open it. This is a good thing uh, to watch. Yeah, this is very good. So you see, this is not a washing machine. <laughs> uh, this is a blower of uh, AHU. So it's a belt driven. Means 100% is AHU. And this, as per the size, you can see also. So it's a, it's a belt motor and connected with the blower. And it's a blower casing. And you can see this black color, right side. What is that? Canvas. Canvas cloth. Flexible connection to avoid the vibration. And you can also see here, below this stand, you may find some spring or uh, rubbers. Can you able to see that? Yes. Sir. Yeah, so that rubber again to jerk or any jerk or any vibration not to transfer to this body. And presently, it's uh, I think it's a double skin. Yes, sir, double skin skin. Yeah. Yes, sir, insulation. Mm. Yeah, they are using double skin. Why? Because uh, I think they are not going to cover this. Yeah, they will cover. Yes, sir, it's double, double. So, double skin. Again, the advantage of double skin, even in the H room, the temperature is not a conditioned space now. So, if you go for double skin, the loss is less. But if you want indoor, if you place single skin also okay as per the core. But as per more uh, uh, 
if you want to be safe side double skin is best even for indoor so they are using a double skin so in between this uh, cabinet uh, insulation is there and that will prevent the loss of cooling effect so this is the first chamber uh, or means first chamber actually it's last chamber as per the sequence so in that you will find the blower and the fan motor uh, with the flexible uh, and it is uh, belt driven and the capacity is uh, much enough for uh, high capacity fine 6000 cfm 6000 cfm fine so 6000 cfm is around uh, almost done as per standard uh, it is uh, 17 ha uh, 17 yeah. yeah so that is the first chamber so that chamber i think we can press here yeah, please so please help help us So what about this one? This is called a mixing chamber. Yeah, please throw us. Yeah. So this is called a mixing chamber. So why it is called mixing chamber? Because here Return you can see pressure option. This damper is for pressure option. I can operate this one, or we can close. We can open and close. We can connect this pressure duct. And this is return. So this is the return. So the, uh, now we can trace. This is a return. So return plus fresher. So mix in the mixing chamber. Mm -hmm. Fine. So the require the hundred percent CFM as per the requirement. So for example, just for example, seventy percent is return, thirty percent fresh. So again hundred percent, hundred percent supplied uh, through this uh, means in the mixing chamber. And after that, you'll find the filter. Filter is not visible presently. It is a thermocol shield because again it is not started yet. After the filter, the next chamber is filter. Then coils. Then finally this uh, fan. Okay. Fine. So this is a complete unit of AH. Fine. Yeah, please help. Help me close this one. Uh, this side. Here yeah, you see the outlet or the inlet. Sorry, the return uh, have this VCD and this is the elbow. You know that. And what about this one? This is flanges. flanges. And in between flanges, what is that? Gasket. And after gasket, after leak test, you'll find this uh, uh, sealant also. So after that gas uh, leak test, we can go for sealant. But presently, you can see the gasket is a white color. Fine, rubber. And this, you see that not, this bolt is not properly uh, tightened that one. So you see this? This bolt, uh, this nut is not properly tight. So that, as a engineer, you need to cross check that. So it's a sheet metal fan, so you will not get the accuracy, but for MS plan you can get, uh, you can go for a complete type. And in my hand I am having this gasket. Gas 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 so see this gasket, this gasket with a sticker and directly I can remove this, I can paste in between the flange. For what? To avoid the leakages. Fine. So you can see here. But don't keep it. <laughs> Yeah. So next you see here, uh, this is an inlet uh, to the AHO, A side, the return we can call as a, this is a return duct, fine. And uh, since many AHOs are available, so return duct is must. If I not use the return duct, what happens? It will take the air from somewhere, from some area. So return is must. If only single AHO, single AHO room, then if not you can avoid the return, only opening is enough. But here the series of uh, AHOs, so this is a return line and again with the what? What is that? I, I think we will identify this one. Fire damper. Yes, very good. Fire damper yet to complete the motorized, uh, the motorized things or the controls is going to connect here. So why fire damper is required? With the return air, if you get the hot air, this will restrict the supply. Whenever restrict is there, the no, air will drip. So it will stop the supply of air, not to spread the fire, in case of fire. So in return, we will we'll get the fire damper as well as in supply, in supply you need to test. Uh, this is uh, again that side you will find a motor. So this is supply. First of all we have uh, this VCD again and the connector mouthpiece. We can consider as a mouthpiece whatever the size maybe larger or uh, expander or uh, whatever. And again but, uh, this fire damper for safe, uh, safety purpose you can see that image uh, that side the control. And uh, what about this? A uh, not a user, a, a single piece in between the two connects or uh, two things. Fine. And this is the elbow. So see here, this is the opening. So be careful. So elbow and uh, elbow is a short run or a long run? Be careful. Short run. It's a short run. You can see that. You just show that uh, that one. It's, it's a very far. short. The curve is short. It's a short run. And why this line is available in this elbow? Or even you can find in the duct also some crossing lines. Just to avoid the deflection. Yes. With the line, if you go means you can divide the load. 
Fine, so that is that is the thing. Applying the A to the below floors, actually uh, six or seven, six floor, uh, six or seven floor, and uh, it is made up of jain as you know. Fine. Twenty two gauge. Twenty two gauge. Twenty two gauge. As per the size, you can find the gauge also. And what about this one? Seam joint. Fine. This is a seam joint. And with soldering. Ah, with soldering. And at the time of uh, fabrication, uh, you need to be very careful. You need to cross check this joint because if you not cross check this, maximum leakages you can find with the seams only compared to the uh, flanges. Fine. Any of flanges will have the gasket, but properly not fabricate this. The seam joints will give you uh, lot of uh, pressure, uh, this pressure, uh, air loss, miss leakages. And again, this uh, uh, this what about this flange? Yeah. Fine. So presently, uh, so corner uh, corner option is there. But presently there is no MS flange. You see that MS flange? Ha, there. You show that? Yeah. There you will find the MS flange. See that? Black. The black one. So that is separately fabricated with the welder, and that is good quality compared to the sheet metal because surface is uh, smooth. And this flange is connected to the duct. You see with the what? You just zoom out. Zoom in. Ah, uh, so it's already zoomed in. Zoom in, right? So that uh, flange is connected with the rivet. You can see the left left button type. Yes, there is a there is a rivet that is connected to the duct, and duct to duct nuttle bolts. Again, some some nuttle bolts are loose. So as a side engineer, you need to cross check that whether they have tightened or not. Because the leakages again, if they not do leakage, you will find fine. And here okay. you will find one more issue. That is the issue. Ceiling suspended. This is the floor mounted. Yes. Floor mounted already shown.